let's study now the law of variable proportions but before learning the law of variable proportions let let us first learn what is total product average product and marginal product let's first get our concepts clear on these three concepts total product is the summation of all the marginal products it is the product that is derived by adding all the marginal products at all the levels it is summation of all marginal products average product is total product divided by total quantity of labor or quantity of factor of production labor in this example the factor of production that we have taken in this example is labor so average product is total product divided by the factor of production and marginal product is total product of nth level minus total product of n minus 1 level now let's just understand what these things mean with the help of a schedule in this schedule we have taken the quantity of labor as to how does the production change with every increase in the quantity of labor other factors remaining constant we have taken only labor to be variable here how does it affect the total product then we see how does average product change at each level and what is the marginal product at each level let's start when one person or one labor is employed the production is 100 units so my average product is tp upon q that is 100 divided by 1 i'll just write here a b c and d for your convenience where c equals b upon a so now at now when one more person is employed when the quantity of labor gets increased to 2 the total product is 210 units so the average product of both the employees both the labor would be 105 how 210 divided by 2 is 105 at the third level that is when one more labor is employed and in total we have three labors now what happens the total product increases to 330 and the average product rises to 110 this 110 can be derived by dividing 330 by 3 at the fourth when the fourth labor is employed the total production rises to 440 and at this level the average product remains the same it is 110 when the fifth labor is employed total product rises to 520 and now the average product starts to decline it becomes 104 from 110 when the sixth labor is employed total product rises to 600 however average product falls to 100 when the seventh person is employed 
the total product rises to 670 whereas the average product falls to 96. When the 8th person is employed, the total product rises to 720 but the average product falls to 90. When the 9th person is employed, the, uh, the total product rises to 750 but the average product falls to 83. When the 10th person is employed, we have 10 labors now. So the total product rises now to 760 only. And thus the average product falls to 76. In case of the 11th labor, my total product has fallen. It has fallen from 760 to 740. And thus my average product has rightly fallen from 76 to 67. Now let's understand this with the help of marginal product. When the total product is 100, marginal product is also 100 when one labor is employed. When second labor is employed, the total product is 210. The marginal product is 110 at this level. Now how do we get this 110? It's MP at second level is TP at second level minus TP at first level. This equals 210 minus 100. This equals 110. 210 minus 100 equals 110. When third labor is employed, the total product is 330. So at this level, the marginal product is 120. That is 330 minus 210, 120. When the fourth labor is employed, the total product is 440. At this level, the marginal product is 110. How? Total product at fourth level is 440 minus the total product when three levels are employed that is 330. So 440 minus 330 is again 110. So now from here the marginal product also starts to fall. At the fifth level that is when the fifth labor is employed the total product rises to 512. But now the marginal product is 520 minus 440 which is equal to 80. In this way we calculate the average product and the marginal product. There is one more formula to find the marginal product. That is marginal product equals to the change in total product upon the change in Q. Now let's see how do we calculate marginal product with the help of this formula. Now let's take marginal, let's find marginal product when the seventh labor is employed. At this level total product is 670. But the total product before this level was 600. Therefore, the change is 670 minus 600 divided by change in Q at the 7th level. 7 labors are employed. The change is 7 minus 6. So, the answer is 70 divided by 1 which again equals to 70. And we can see that marginal product at the level when 7 labors are employed is 70. So we have two formulas to calculate marginal product. First is TPN minus TPN minus 1 and second is delta TP divided by delta Q.